Having all the parts of your website match not only looks good, but also brings consistency to your brand, which affects how your business is viewed by your customers. When you're building a business directory website, you want it to look good, so businesses want to be a part of it and users enjoy using it. In this video, I'll show you how to design custom map styles for your Geo Directory business listings website. Let's get started. Okay, here we are in the dashboard and the first thing we are going to do is install the add-on. So go to Geo Directory and then Extensions. Scroll down until you see the custom map styles add-on and then click Install. And then click Activate. And then to set up this plugin, go to Geo Directory Settings and then click the Map Styles tab. Okay, so most of these settings are going to be very self-explanatory. You're going to probably want to enable everything or whichever maps you want to have custom styles for, just turn the switch to enable them. I also want to click the Show Advanced button. Now, when you click the Show Advanced button, it does allow the option for um, the OSM map API key. Now, GeoDirectory supports um, open source maps, OSM, and also Google Maps API. Um, with open source maps, usually you don't need an API key unless you're styling certain things. So if you are using OSM and if you have an API key, put it here. Now I suggest using a Google Maps API and um, I do, I actually have a video where I show how to get a Google Maps API key. I will link that below. And I'll actually go ahead and show you where you would put the Google API key if you were using that. But first, let's hit Save Changes here, and then click over to the General Settings tab. And right here under Map Settings is where you're gonna to wanna to put your Google Maps API key. Um, mine is blurry because this is a secret. You don't want to share it with other people. When you set up um, an API key for with Google, you do have to put in billing, though you do get a credit every month. Um, that means you don't want to share your API key because if somebody else uses your API key and sends a lot of traffic, you'll get billed for it. So um, keep your API key, your API key secret. Um, put it right here and then uh, when you are, after you put it in, click the verify button, make sure it works, and then click save changes. Okay, so now that we know all about the API keys and how the maps work with GeoDirectory, let's pop back over to that map styles tab and then click the manage map styles link up top. Now on this page, we have it so we can set the different map styles for each of the areas uh, where the maps are. So we have the directory map style, we have the archive map style, the single map style, and the add listings map style. So that's the map which is going to be on each of those pages. And I do want to show you that here you can choose between Google Maps or OpenStreetMaps up here and switch between. But like I said, I like Google Maps better, so I'm going to click back to that. And now this is the fun part. You can just kind of play around here and uh, pick a feature and then uh, pick the type of what it is, the element type of it, I'll show you in a second. And then you just uh, choose the color and um, the hue and then hit add new styles. So um, if you wanna learn more about what options you have, you can click this link that says read more about a map type styler properties. Uh, but let me just kinda show you what we can do is we can pick, let's pick, um, let's pick highways and then for element type, um, we can choose, let's see, let's see what geometry stroke does and we can try to make this purple and make this purple and then, uh, click add new styles and there you go. The stroke of the highways is purple. So you can, uh, play around like that or you can also import somebody else's styles. So how this works is you wanna to go to a website called snazzymaps.com slash explore, and then from there you can pick somebody else's map styles that they already created, and then um, directly add them to the maps that you already have. 
So this is what the SNAZI Maps website looks like. And as you can see, there's a ton of different um, map styles. So I'm just gonna pick one. Uh, this looks cool and it is colorful. Um, so it's gonna be really easy for us to see that it applies to this map. So after you choose a style and click on it, you're gonna wanna mouse over this icon right now that says customize and click that and then click the code button to view the code. You're gonna to wanna to select everything, copy it, go back to your website, and then paste it right here in this box. Then click import new styles. And there you go, now your map looks like the same map from Snazzy Maps. So the page we added that one on was the archive map styles map. So let's go ahead and look at our archive page and make sure that the map changed. So for my website, I'm just gonna view the front page and then I'm gonna click browse all RV parks. And there you go, that's the new map. You can see we're kind of zoomed out, but when you zoom in, you can see that there's the new map styles. So there you go, now you have some beautiful maps to match your beautiful website. If I was helpful for you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll answer them for you. Uh, if you're building your own website, check out the description for a freebie roadmap so you can make sure you're not missing any steps. Thank you so much for watching.